All right, so we're gonna look at some of our uh, drip irrigation components. And as you can kind of see on the table, there's, there's lots of materials that we can use uh, for different ways that we may want to, uh, uh, to irrigate our landscape or our gardens. Uh, but the main thing uh, that we're gonna have to have is uh, it's some kind of transport line, okay? So if you're familiar with uh, plumbing to your house or anything like that, uh, most systems are done with PVC pipe. And this little flexible tubing here, it's a solid tubing, uh, just a soft plastic uh, pipe. It's gonna be our transport line uh, for all of our water movement. So from point A to point B, from our water faucet uh, to wherever we're trying to take our lines, uh, most of the time we're gonna use this black, uh, black tubing. Um, if you're going a pretty good distance, you can, uh, you know, use PVC and put it in the ground and then come out to this, uh, this black tubing uh, if need be. But for the most part, uh, we're, we're gonna use this black tubing as our transport line. And the cool thing about drip is, uh, I always tell people it's kind of like a Lego set. You can, uh, you can basically modify it and build it however you want to for different shapes, uh, for different curvatures of uh, shrub beds or gardens. So it can really be modified in a lot of different ways. Uh, but this is gonna be our main transport line that's gonna carry water. Uh, we're gonna have lots of different fittings uh, from elbows, uh, to tease and I'm going to show you how these hook up to the pipe here in just a little bit uh, There's straight connections for uh, maybe a busted pipe that we need to fix um, We can add a straight connection there to that uh, We can add little ball valves So if I need to be able to shut the water on and off uh, while the system is still running I can install these little ball valves uh, onto the systems uh, And then we're going to have connections for uh, hose fittings Obviously most of the time our water supply is going to be a water hose So we're trying to go from a water hose um, to our system. And all these are gonna have little built-in filters for them to help filter uh, the water. Uh, like I said, we can hook up uh, water hoses and get from that water hose pipe down to that transport line uh, that we're gonna use to move water throughout this system. Uh, <clears throat> once we've got uh, water going where we want to and we need to um, start administering water to, to, like I said, shrub beds or, uh, or vegetable gardens or whatever we're trying to water. There's lots of different options for that. Uh, there's lots of different sizing. There's a smaller tubing, uh, but some of this tubing uh, has built-in emitters, okay? So it's got a built-in water regulator uh, into the pipe. It's only gonna let um, water drip at a certain rate. This particular, um, this particular tubing is a fourth of gallon uh, per hour or, or per minute. Okay, so and that is they're on six inch spacing. So for every six inches There's an emitter that's letting uh, a fourth a gallon uh, of water out uh, Per hour on that and there's different sizes uh, Tubing that you can use uh, that emitter will come in the same size pipe as our uh, transport line um, And like I said, they could be anywhere from six inches uh, to 24 inches, just to spend it, uh, depending on uh, the spacing that you need and the water flow uh, that you need. So lots of different options. Um, and then for our solid piping, uh, we also have the option of uh, putting emitters on there. Okay, so it may be a solid pipe and we wanna add emitters. Uh, maybe we don't have a, a set spacing like every 12 inches. Maybe we're doing uh, uh, ornamental beds or something like that. Or we're trying to run to a tree or we're trying to run to a shrub uh, And we need we need different uh, distances for uh, For that material and there is just numerous uh, you can kind of see I've got these in little bags just numerous little emitters um, That can be added uh, To these pipes to regulate water and they come in the same flow rates It could be quarter gallon could be half gallon could be one gallon an hour depending on the type of plant that you're trying to uh, uh, that you're trying to supply water there uh, to it can be modified just about to anything that you want uh, these systems come with a little tool okay for those solid pipes so if this pipe is uh, that I'm using is a is a solid pipe and I want to add an emitter obviously it doesn't have any opening so no water flow is going to come out of this but if I want to add an emitter this little tool goes in there and it pops right in you can see how it pops into the pipe there you just kind of twist that um, to get that out of there. And then we can get any of our little emitters that we want to use. Uh, here's a good one that we can use. So I've got my little, I've got my little hole there that I've put in there and I want to add an emitter. Okay, so I'm gonna take my emitter and I'm just gonna pop it 
uh, right into the pipe. As you can see there, I've added an emitter to a, uh, to a solid pipe there, and I can run that to anything I want to. Like I said, if I want that to, uh, uh, to water a tree or something, I can, I, can, I can have that go in there. I can put these at any spacing that I want to, and I can pick the, the, uh, the gallon per hour that I want to supply. So I might have one go into a tree uh, that's obviously supplying a low water uh, flow versus uh, maybe some herbaceous plants or something like that that I've got uh, in the in the in the landscape there. So lots of different options, lots of different components uh, that we can use for that. Uh, as you can see here, and we're going to look at this here in just a minute. I'm going to show you how to hook this up. Uh, this is a battery timer that we can use um, for drip irrigation, just to uh, basically let us be hands off, just like a uh, just like a hardwired system. Uh, we can leave our water on and let this control the water flow to our gardens. If you notice, I've got a pressure reducer here on the bottom. Uh, drip irrigation obviously is low flow, um, so. Uh, uh, we want to put that on there just to reduce that that flow down as much as we possibly can. Then this is going to work off the system. But we'll look uh, we'll look at how that hooks up in a separate little little clip here in just a second. But just wanted to show you that. Uh, but as you can see, it's lots of components uh, that that make up this system. But they're all relatively easy to use. Um, and uh, we'll, we'll I'm going to do one here in just a second where we look at kind of how to put some of these uh, pieces on there and kind of shape our system uh, the way that we'd like to see it go.